When we got to Makere University this afternoon, we found a hustle and bustle at Freedom Square, where the university always holds its graduation ceremonies from. The tents which will hold their graduates, their parents as well as other officials had already been set up. Organizers were also in the middle of placing name tags on the chairs as well. And luckily for us, we ran into a group of the prospective graduates who were already clad in their gowns, an indication that for them, Monday is indeed too far away. They were excited to have finally put a cap on their stay at the renowned Makere University Hill. It's not an easy journey, but with God we have been able to come to completion and we are here to celebrate already. We're already in the vibe for the day, which is Monday. I'm very excited and I thank God and my dad for all that I have achieved. We've started for five years, which is a quite a long period, and we've uh, become now doctors. So we are in a very high, high vibe for the day. We just can't wait for Monday. According to the university spokesperson Rita Namsango, 6,816 of the 12,913 graduates are female, while 6,097 are male. They will receive their degrees in the five-day graduation ceremony, running from 29th January to 2nd February. For the 74th graduation ceremony of Makere University, our guest of honor will be the Minister of Education and Sports, Honorable Janet Kataham Seven. Among these will be 132 graduates who will be receiving their PhDs. The intention is to ensure that the other graduation ceremonies, we encourage all the different academic units at Makere University to ensure that still they prioritize PhD training Additionally, three individuals have been selected to receive the university's honorary doctorates in recognition of their services to the university and the entire country. And these include, we have Professor Leif Abrahamson, we have Honorable Betty Bigombe, and we also have Justice Stephen Engonda Antende. The graduates are mostly excited at the university's decision to hand out the transcripts to them before their graduation, which is a rare occurrence in Makerere. The university did us great. It gave us our transcripts before the graduation day. So we have a lot to celebrate. Digitization automation of systems has helped us to ensure that right now Makerere University can distribute tra academic transcripts of all our graduates. But graduates have also been urged to only attend the ceremony with two invited guests as stipulated by university policy in order to avoid scenes of overcrowding which were witnessed last year. That is an appeal so that in terms of logistics and in terms of the preparations as you see the Freedom Square right now, we are able to sit comfortably and also celebrate with manageable numbers. But whereas preparations for the 74th graduation ceremony are underway, questions still linger over who will be presiding as chancellor for the ceremony after the expiry of term of office for the university's former chancellor, Professor Ezra Suruma. Whereas the universities and other tertiary institutions act of 2001 stipulates that it's the chancellor to preside over the university's graduation ceremonies. The same law under section 31 1B also allows the vice chancellor to preside in the absence of the chancellor. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition. Oh, yeah.